My name is Xavier, and welcome to an Extract Scientist for Liberation 2 with four characters in, like, what are we, in August now? In Eastern Europe. So this is going to be kind of interesting. Everybody is con uh, not concealed, rather. We have just Christine here. There could be Muton Centurions. There could be Advanced Mechs. There could be all kinds of crazy stuff. So I need to play this very well. And we don't have the most damage here. We have Freytag with a basic SMG. We have Viteus, who's a, a grenadier with a mag SMG. And we have Dagar with a laser cannon. And of course, Christine with a basic SMG. So, yeah, very careful, must play perfect, etc., etc. But, you know, I always say that, and then I pretty much always do it. So, let's do it. Christine, move on up. Oh, hello. It's extremely light. So there's three guys right there. They're all like, well, that's a shield bearer and a sergeant, but also probably an M2. Or it looks almost like an M1 grenadier. It's very hard to tell M1 and M2 grenadiers apart. At least when they're in the fog of war, partially. I kind of think that these, this is a good thing for me to fight if I'm going to fight something. So why don't I go towards them rather than away from them? How would I ambush them, though? Probably with a grenade from Viteus. I think I think this is a smart idea. Uh, then again, if we move one tile, look at this. If we move one single tile, we're going to activate. And we, we can't go anywhere. Okay. Well, I guess I don't really have any option. I either, uh, I either move up and try to... <laughs> just go on. I don't even move up. I either ambush or go on Overwatch where I am. Or we start going someplace else looking for an ambush. I would like to fight this pod, though, because the other pods are probably like Muton, Snake, Muton, Snake, Alien, freaking Snake, Alien. Uh, however, I see a tower here I can hack with Freytag. I, going around would be the smartest thing. I really want to fight these guys and not whatever else is on the map. So I think the plan here is, can I go behind this truck without getting spotted? Yes. Maybe I'll do that then. All right, Viteus. Let's move. Nope, nope, can't do that. Let's come back here. Perfect, we'll just hide you there. Uh, Dagar, we're going to do the same sort of thing. We're going to hide you in the open where no one can see you. Uh, we're going to take Maxim Polishuk and uh, move him back there as well, and Freytag as well. All right? And then, Christine, we actually want to get a little bit closer to see what's going on here, or we want to go up on the roof to keep eyes on them. Then again, what if we get at spotted by a drone or something? Let's not do that. Let's come back and be safe about it. I do kind of want to fight these three guys next turn. So we'll overwatch, overwatch, overwatch. Hopefully ambush with some kind of grenade or something. Hunker, great. Where are they going to go? Please come towards me. Okay, they're walking away. Oh, yep. Definitely hit a snake and a muton over here to the right. So I think going after these three guys is a smart move. I can actually walk straight out here with Dagar and not activate. It's only when I get up to the front of the van that I'm going to activate. So I could, I could come out like this. And we could just overwatch. I'm going to do it. The guard move on out there. They're not an alert, so they're not going to get any shots. Freytag, come on out. Great. Okay, a lot of civilians are yelling. These guys are now an alert, so they are going to get shots. You can see that they just went down. I forgot completely about that. Uh, so, Viteus, if you moved one tile up, how far could you throw a grenade? Is my question. And the answer is I can't even see. Well, this is super annoying. Let's come out here with uh, Viteus then. We're just going to have to use a Freytag smoke that he carries for this exact reason. We're going to toss it right here on the whole squad. Okay. Uh, Christine, let's go up and scout a bit more. See what else is on the horizon. We see pretty much nothing. Let's... If she goes here, she might get spotted, though. Can she go anywhere else? She won't get spotted, but can move up. Maybe here. Let's do that. The more vision we have, the better. Okay. Viteus Overwatch. Dagar Overwatch, uh, and Mr. Uh, Maxim, we're going to need you to run up in here through the glass in the smoke. Fantastic. Yep, this is a little dicey. These things should be coming straight towards me, but no, they're actually running away on alert. I hear the snakes now sort of in the middle of the map. Let's see what this hack is with Freytag. Small supply cache, but we get a map alert. That won't affect us at all. We can just grab those. They're basically like free supplies. Uh, let's get Christine up on the roof. For good vision here all around. What do we see? The answer is nothing. Before I before I move for a second time, I want to move everyone up as much as I can. 
Okay, I, I'm gonna activate there, but not on any of these tiles. Uh, so let's move the guard to where he can shoot from high cover. Viteus to where he can throw a grenade next turn. Uh, civilian's gonna run off, of course. A fray tag, we're gonna need you to move up here. Really, it doesn't matter so much where. I guess inside is fine. On my way. And then from here, you can hack that objective, giving us the free supplies and such. Great, let's go for it right now. This is an interesting thing. Like, they hear people screaming in the streets, but I think they're going back to defend. So... I definitely want the 35 supplies. This is great. 20 aim, 20 crit for three turns. Only a 40% chance, though, and I'm so supply short. I'm just going to go for the supplies. We did it! Good thing, too, because we would have failed otherwise. All right, now let's go grab the VIP, or rather... Yeah, Overwatch with Viteus. Uh, let's keep moving up with Christine now. There's pretty much... I heard a pod there, and I think a pod here. I think that's everything. But I want to be careful in case there's a drone, like, behind here or something. So we move there, we see nothing. Overwatch with Dagar. Uh, let's get our VIP very far up, like as far as we can go. We can actually get all the way up to here. Nope. Wait. Here we get spotted. Here we do not. All right, Maxim, up you go, friends. All these civilians are running around like crazies. Completely forgot about civilians on this map. I didn't even look. These guys are running away because they're on a defend job right now. Definitely sounds like snakes to me on the evac. So we're going to need Christine to go spot these snakes. Let's come up a little bit more. What do we see? We see actually nothing. Is there anything down here in this building? There very well could be. We can find out for sure, though, by moving our VI. Since I know that pod ran away and they were right here last turn, or we we're going to get spotted right here last turn, we can definitely move this far this turn without getting spotted. So let's move a Maxim up here right through the window. He's going to see nothing. Civilian's going to run off yelling. We now know that it's safe inside here to move Christine up even more. So let's go all the way up there. Oh, there's a snake! Found him! I found him! What is he with, though? It's hard to say for sure. F let's get the whole squad way over here, far away. We'll be fine. We're not going to activate anything doing this. Dagar, we need to be careful with... Or, uh, Viteus, we need to be a little bit careful with you, though. I guess we can move you in sort of like that. Like, around in a corner so you don't, like, clip through a window and activate something. And now, Dagar, you can move up probably there. That's great. And we'll move our VIP back a little bit to Freytag, so we're all grouped up. Fantastic. They know something's up, but they don't know where it's up from. Here it comes. Ooh, it's a snake. A snake and a muton, I believe. Yes, 14 HP, 14 HP, and a muton centurion. That's a dangerous. If ever there was something that's dangerous, how the heck would I fight that? Well, I do have these fire grenades here, so there is that much. What I really want to do now is move up and see where that other pod went with Christine, if possible. But at the same time, I don't want to move up one tile and get spotted by the muton and the snake. So why don't we move up to, like, here? No, that's not... That's too scary. Let's move all the way around here with her. Look in this direction, and we see nothing. Most of the line of sight's blocked, though. Let's now come back to a place where we're more likely to see the muton. You know what? She can also do a really big dash next turn. So let's just get up on the roof Head here. That, that looks good. Okay, she so can see at least two of them, and we know the muton's there. So we should be good to just go with the actual indicators here on the map. A uh, fray tag. Let's go to the high cover element. All those civilians are gonna move. I recognize. Yep. So many. So there. So these guys are gonna be on alert now. Actually, maybe they're not. They're just kind of standing around. It's hard to tell with aliens. They don't look the same. Let's come up here with Dagar. Uh, we'll get our VIP like way back there. Fantastic. More civilians running around yelling like crazy. Uh, Viteus, you move up in case they are on alert. Maybe we should hunker you, but everyone else can probably overwatch. Then again, you have decent aim. Let's go, let's go forward. Overwatch, overwatch, overwatch. Uh, fantastic. Let's see what happens. These things are not coming back, and they activate, and we're exposed. Oh, good God. Dagar, go for it. To shut down their reaction shots. Swinging a hit on the sergeant for seven. Awesome. Big help. However, shield bear is probably going to shield whoever's with them. A grenadier. That's the only thing we have to worry about now. This is not what I wanted in the slightest. Uh, Viteus swinging a miss. A freight tag also swinging a miss. Well... Looks to me as I zoomed out, yes, this pod here went on alert, but they're going back in a different direction to guard inside the door. 
Now that's interesting. Uh, we want to kill this pod here without activating the other pod. That's kind of obvious, but let's move up to a place where we're not going to get spotted. Why are we getting spotted here? It, look at this. It's telling me I'm going to get spotted. Oh, wait a minute. No. If I come here, I guess I can't go there. I see. That's weird. So I can go there this way, but if I click here to go there, like the way it's showing me I'm going to run, I can't go there. Very strange stuff. Anyway, this is six things on the map out of up to nine. So I haven't heard anything else either. The guard could suppress them from the high cover element here, probably killing at least one of them. Uh, everything's on alert, so I don't have to worry about that too much. The question is, do I want to use a regular grenade or do I want to use an incendiary grenade? And where do I want to go? Well... Very good question, to be honest. Who's gonna kill the Grenadier? I only have three people because Christine has to maintain radio silence right now. Freytag has no ability to shoot. Degar can only suppress, basically. So I think the smart move is let's move Viteus up here to this high cover. We'll toss out a fire grenade at this... Oh, 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 whoa! Oh. Okay, I didn't realize... I completely forgot about the fact that he's a grenadier and can hit both of them with a fire grenade. Oh, good golly gee willikers, Batman! A Viteus! Burnation! Oh, that is beautiful! Hit for six and kill the sergeant. Great. Hit the engineer for four and light him on fire. He'll probably die, but not guaranteed. Uh, now... Dagar, it only makes sense that you would move up, get pretty close to that shield bearer. And what do we want to do about that? Just probably suppress him? I think he's not going to do anything, though. But you know what? Who cares? I think that's fine. Just suppress the shield bearer. Uh, Freytag. This is an interesting predicament. Why don't we airdrop Viteus, because he may actually need it. I suppose we could command. We have three commands. You know what? Let's go pro now that we just used that airdrop. Let's use Viteus to throw a grenade out and shred and do a little bit of damage against this the shield better. And also destroy his cover so that if he does, I guess he's going to move and Dagar will get a shot while suppressing. Uh, or, you know what? Oh, wait. No, there, there is a spot. We can do it right there. Perfect. Let's do it. I go for it. Destroy it. Fantastic, hit for one. By which I mean not fantastic in the slightest. Let's bring Christine up now so she can see the approach to the evac. We gotta figure out how to get our VIP out of here safely. She sees nothing. Is it safe to come over here? Probably not. How about here? Probably. And from here we can see through the window, probably see that whole pod, or you know, we can see literally nothing. So let's keep moving our VIP up, Maxim, Polishuk or some such, into the high cover there. All right, this guy burns for two, 66% chance he'll burn to death in the next uh, turn. The shield better standing in the open being suppressed. What's he going to do? He's going to run for it. Dagar! Can't tell what's going on. Looked kind of pretty, though. Hit for five. Awesome. Uh, and now he's going to shield. Might have made more sense if I was thinking about it beforehand to blow the cover and then shoot, but eh. Eh, who cares? Can't do everything right every time. I did hear some stuff back here. Looks like these guys are just staying on guard mode here. Like, they're just going to camp in there and be on guard, and that's it. And so, it might be possible, if I do this perfectly, let's bring Christine up here to look inside and see all of them. There, we finally see all three of them. They are sitting there guarding the evac. That's a smart move for them to be doing. But the problem is, now, I can bring my VIP up, not activating them using line of sight trickery. Like, what if I went here and here? Look at that. I can get them all the way up here, and next turn, I think I can actually dash them out. And it looks to me like I can see he'll get spotted here, he'll get spotted here. It got you again saying he won't get spotted there, though. Don't know why. It looks to me like he should be spotted there. Because here he's being spotted. Here, here... Um, do I trust this? You know what? Even from here, he's not gonna... I mean, he's gonna be able to get out next turn, I think. So let's just go there. It's a little bit safer to me. And let's hope that Gutchie again is not lying and we don't activate anything. Sneaky sneakers! Always being sneakers. That's how I like to roll. Now. 
What do I do about these doofers? Uh, I want to break the shield right now. But that's going to require hitting this guy pretty hard. I can't really come out here with Dagar without risking him getting flanked in one way or another. So I think I might do the same thing again with Viteus. That, or just launch our second incendiary grenade. I don't want to do that. I'd rather just hit him with a regular grenade and try to finish him off somehow with Dagar. I don't think we can blow up the cover, but I'm going to try it. Let's pop a reload here. Uh, let's use our regular frag grenade. Everything's on alert anyway. Let's try to hit the cover as well. Great. Go for it. Viteus, shred his last point of armor. Not that it makes any difference, because we have AP ammo and Dagar. Hit for three. Ablative's gone. Bloody hell. This is a... This is not my favorite situation here. So... How is Dagar going to kill this guy? His maximum aim bonus. He is a cooldown gunner. Uh, he also has covering fire. Which is interesting. Forgot all about that. I could come here for probably a better aim bonus than here. Could I get on the roof? I could get on the roof here. And shoot down against him in full cover. I could walk up to him, but that'd be pretty bad. I could flush him. 44, 30. The flush is going to be pretty bad as well. 60%. God, all of these things are horrendous. I want this guy dead so that Freytag can combat protocol this one and he's gone. The problem is, to do that, I'm going to have to move out here. And I heard stuff. I know I heard stuff over there. Uh, I think I have to risk this, though. Because the alternative is to pray... Well, this guy won't die. He just he just won't die to the burning if I don't um, if I don't risk this. So let's go for it. The guy move on out. A uh, small chance of activating because there's a huge building here blocking around a site. 80%. That's good. 69, though. That's a lot better. 79 with Graze. I take him out, we're fine. Or I could just soften this guy up and let the shield battle run around like a doofer. Actually, not a bad idea. Because then I can command Dagar to suppress or shoot the shield better again. Then again, I can command Dagar regardless. So let's do that. Let's have, have Dagar come over here to 69%, shoot the shield better, try to take out the shield. Nice! A shield down. Okay, now we're back to having this doofer having a 66% chance to burn to death. However, 66 is not 100. So my plan is, let's move Freytag up to this high cover. We'll pop a combat protocol and guarantee that he is evaporated. Oh, nice. Freytag has the new gremlin. So it hits for four. I completely forgot about that. Not surprising. I mean, when do I ever remember anything? Well, that's one pod down in this non-combat squad. I guess we'll have Christine just go on Overwatch here, wait, buy some time. These guys are like, hey guys, what's going on? We hit her an explosion. Oh, good lord. A good lord. That was scenic. Uh, reaction shots, though, because they're on alert. They might just murder my VIP right now. They might. They very well might. And you know what they end up doing? Nothing. They do nothing with their time. They don't even go on Overwatch. All right, Maxim Polishuk. Up you go, friend. You're out. I should have moved him one tile closer just to avoid any potential additional activations. Regardless, he's up there and he's out. Liberation 2 is complete. Also, scientist complete. Now, the hard part. Getting the hell out of here without taking wounds up the wazoons. Well, I could actually move Christine inside right here next to the muton, shutting that doofer down. The better question is, what do we do about two 14 HP snakes? Well, Viteus can eradicate one of them, no problem. Whichever one he chooses, I'm thinking the one on the right. Uh, because it's further away and we can't quite do anything about it otherwise. Meanwhile, the guard could, if he wanted to, move up here, get this loot, be in high cover, and he could suppress the one on the right. All right, let's do that. That's leaving him exposed to the right where I think there's another pod, but hey, I want the loot. Scope, elite, hair trigger, great. I'm glad I got it. Let's do a solo suppress now on the snake on the right. Uh, Viteus, if you wouldn't be so kind as to move up here... And throw a burnination grenade on the other snake. That would be fantastic, locking him down in its entirety. A poof! Nice, hit for seven. God, that thing is huge. Huge hitting grenade. What do we want to do with Freytag? We actually have a lot of options. I could command any number of things. Uh, we have Oscar Mike, we have Get Some. No one's really going to be shooting at all this turn. Another airdrop and command on Viteus. Uh, to soften both of these guys up a little bit. Probably not a bad idea. Let's do that. Alright, airdrop. 
Viteus, great. Uh, and then let's command Viteus. <laughs> okay, nice gremlin there. A Freytag's gremlin just smashing all the windows. And Viteus, the toss out a yield Granate right here. Uh, don't destroy the wall behind the Muton, just kind of clip it a little bit, shred it, do a little bit of damage, do a lot of damage to the snake though. I want that wall there so Christine can go inside of it and not have to worry about snakes moving and shooting it or some such. A perfect hit for three, that gives us a very good chance to burninate that snake over two turns. Uh, and what we want to do here now... I could, I could just stand right here with Christine, actually. But then the problem is this snake right there. You know what we should do? This is going to be awesome. Let's toss up a body shield with her against the, the ginormous snake right there. Who's being suppressed? Now, let's move her right next to the mutton blowing her concealment. She'll show that mutton her thing or two about how uh, combatives and melee and such work. Now, let's toss a flashbang, not on the muton, so we definitely don't disable its ability to melee. That's the very important. Let's toss it on the snake, though. So the snake is now suppressed and flashbanged. Christine's locking down the Muton, and this snake is burning. This whole pod is basically just handled in its entirety. The only question is, will that snake run the Overwatch and then shoot Christine? But you know what? She's got the, the shield up against it, even though she's in the open. So it doesn't have many options. I'm curious to see what it's going to do. Okay, Muton, you fell for our bait once again, friend. Bladestorm, Christine's. Don't have a stabby for four. God, I wish she had a good sword. Also, go for a melee. It's a fail. Counterattack for three. Ah, uh -huh, right in your eye. Uh, it's funny. Oh, also Bladestorm on the other two for Snake. That also burned for one, and she misses. I got sad. So many also's, though, all at the same time. Interesting. That snake moved by her twice and it only went off once. Snake's going to turn around and try shooting her while flashbang through the body shield while suppressed. 13% standing in the open, swinging a miss. Okay. I definitely, definitely, definitely just now heard footsteps over here. So I want to stay away from that part of the map as much as possible. Everyone has to move up towards the evac for sure. Then again, Dagar has no ammo. So what do I do here? Viteus has no more grenades. Uh, this snake cannot be flanked. You know what we can do? Let's move closer for sure. Moving to position. Right there. And let's try to shut down that Muton with a 54% with Viteus with a stutter mag. Not the best odds in the world. Nope. Right over his head. Swing and a miss. So that's unfortunate. Uh, Dagar, you're probably going to honestly need to reload and then dash. That's unfortunate, or just move. You know, even if you moved, you're not going to have a good place that I want you to be. And this leaves us just Freytag and Christine. What can we do? I guess, I guess we have to keep suppressing that snake. I guess we have to do that. And since this snake only burnt for one, there's a very low chance of it uh, being eradicated right now. Leaving me in kind of a pickle here. I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. All right. Dagar, no dashing for you. Suppress that snake. A fray tag. Move on up as close as you can get. A shut down the, the, uh, the 3 HP snake. I would really wish I didn't have to waste my combat protocol on this snake, but I do, I feel. Uh, and then, Christine, can you go inside? You could go in there and shoot the snake, but you could also just go right here and have cover against the snake and still shoot the snake. And still lock down the Doofon. Or we could shoot the Doofon. 80% looks good to me. Let's go for it. Basic SMG, Doofon. Hit <laughs> for a one. That's not surprising. Okay, Snake, you're suppressed. What are you going to do, friend? What are you going to do? We're all around you. Oh, I still hear those things really close. Muton falls for the trap once again. I guess he's already dead because he got the loot. Elitrium Core Elite Laser Sight. Yep, all the animations completely breaking here. Shoots at 34%. Uh, Snake shoots at Christine. Miss. Yep, it just broke. It just straight up broke. Muton just gave up with his life. He just dropped the loot in the ground and he's like, screw this, I'm not even going to animate out of here. Uh, next up. That other pod is worrying me and I want to get out of here yesterday. So I think the smartest plan to deal with that is if we come up here, we might spot around the corner and see more stuff. I just want to be in a position where everybody can run out next turn. So let's try to make that happen. We can do that with these two. Freytag, can you run out this turn? Actually, yes. Dagar, well, could you run out and command? No. Dagar, are you even close to being able to do that? Nope, not even close. Well, 
What we need to do then is get the guard down here. So let's move Viteus over there. Uh, the guard, you're going to have to dash, I guess, all the way down here. Fine. Next up, Freytag, we really need you to move closer. I suppose here's the place to, the to do that. Fine. And then from this location, let's use you to command the guard to suppress the snake for the 437,000th time. That order, we flashbang the snake. No, we don't have a flashbang, so definitely or command. Great, just like this. All right, now, Degar, turn around and suppress the snake after dashing. And last but not least, let's use Christine to body shield the snake, because the snake's definitely eyeing her, eyeing her very deceptively. Let's just go on Overwatch with her and Viteus, the same deal, Overwatch. Next turn, we can get out less any Overwatches. We do have incoming incoming activities here this is right on top of us looks like m2 grenadier and m2 gunner right next to dagar oh god viteus's overwatch shots definitely get eaten up by these guys <laughs> yep there they are hey guys christine swinging a miss right at the guy's knee viteus wow that guy did full-on matrix move right there and here's that last pot I was talking about that I was desperately trying to avoid the entire game. They're going to move in. Are they going to go on Overwatch? Looks like they're definitely on alert. Uh, they're going to actually shoot with elevation at Christine. 52% swing and a miss. And it goes on Overwatch. Snake now is going to shoot at Freytag. With low cover, well suppressed, 28% swing and a miss. Okay. Unfortunately, Freytag cannot use or doesn't have inter... Who the heck did I give interference to? I think it doesn't show up. So if I had it, it would show up. Or I had the ability to use it, it would show up. He has to dash to get out of here. But we're going to pull the Overwatch if we do this dash right there. Which is super annoying. So we need to find a way to pull this Overwatch. I guess I could come there. Now the snake's in the way. Can we go there and then there and then up? Probably. Viteus, you're the one... To do this, I think, or I can come around the corner. No, Christine can do it in the high cover right there. That would be perfect. She has the HP to survive this. Great. Let's do that. We'll move back here. We get a flank shot on multiple things. Okay, that didn't work. He's going to take the shot against the her in the open. She does get hit for one damage through the ablative. That's unfortunate. The reason that didn't work, as I anticipated, is because the high cover was too much defense. And he couldn't take a shot, and so he took a shot when she was in the open and connected. But, you know what? Who cares? What do we want to go? What do we want to kill, but rather? I think the only thing we could might maybe kill is that heavy gunner, so 75%. Great. Anyone else able to get up there and in and take a shot? Nope. Viteus, nope. I guess we can't kill anything then, because nobody's going to be able to do anything but dash. At oh, nope. Freytag. Freytag can move up and shoot the gunner and critically hit for eight. No problem. Uh, no, he can't do that at all. That's it's ridiculous. All right, we're out. Well, I played that well enough. We took one point of damage, but it was Liberation 2. We rescued the VIP. We didn't kill all the stuff. We got out before the uh, there was a big issue. We got some loot. It was all together fine. Everything is fine. Sure to be Kiosa sure MVP player goes to no one. That was fantastic all around. Viteus, very good grenades, softening things up, burning out the enemies we needed controlled entirely. The guard locking down all manner of people everywhere. Not really many kills, but who cares? It's about control. Speaking of control, Christine just controlled the whole battlefield. Standing in the open, locking down a muton, scouting everything, enabling our VIP to get out. And then there's tanking, literally air tanking, just standing in the open in the air like, hello, I'm a tank, shoot me. And Freytag, of course, command airdrop chaining just everybody to enable everything. So yeah, that was a solid effort all around from everyone. And look at these promotions. Fantastic. I think with Viteus, I've gone back and forth on this. I know I said I wanted to go full destruction, but at the same time, he's got great great stats for tanking like five dodge negative two defense seven health i'm gonna go formidable instead I've done that on every grenadier it seems to be my go-to spec 
Christine, wow. Interesting. Bad, very bad aim. Very high dodge. She doesn't even have, like, if I gave her evasive, she would be almost invincible. Her aim is so low that I don't care so much about Reaper. But she also already has Blade Storm. She could be an insane. You know what? I'm keeping her alive. She died in the last campaign. She's not dying in this campaign. Evasive it is. You have 432,000 dodge with body shield. She'll be the ultimate distraction for the enemies. They'll try to hit her, but they'll never succeed. Also, how many times have I said also this time, this campaign? Or this episode, rather? 14? Uh, Dagar, Hail of Bullets. The first time this whole campaign, I think, that I've gotten Hail of Bullets on anyone. Yeah, it actually is true. Even though he has 72 aim, which is it's okay for a sergeant gunner. But you know what? It's going to be fantastic in the near future, I think. Anywho, there we go. Pretty good mission. Elite laser sight. Elite hair trigger. That's awesome. One of the specialists will like that. Lanium core is always good. 35 supplies. Great. And a scientist. Yes. Yes. Vitaeus' will was recovered. I forgot all about it, of course. Uh, let's toss our scientist down here into research. Or, or do I not want to do that? Maybe I want to toss it into a psyops. We're at how many? 35 hours, 3 days. Let's see the effect it has tossing in another scientist here. We're looking at 35 down to 23 in three days. Cutting a whole... That's like a third. That's that's pretty good. But you know what? Mag weapons a day sooner would also be pretty good. Then again, I can't really afford it. So I have so many PSYOP things queued up right now. I'm going to go double double scientist on the PSYOPs. Because uh, Server Cat's waiting. Svetlana's is waiting. Uh, that's it, really. But, I mean, there's at least that many things to happen. And probably more not long after that. All right, great, Liberation 2, and now, as I recall, I have to suffer through queuing up three missions right now, which is kind of a nightmare for me. It's very easy for you guys. You just wait three seconds, and they're done. Uh, but for me, it's like 30 minutes of thinking and planning and looking around and blah 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 Well, let's look at it this way. What's the most important? This mission here, 7 days, 21 hours, counters a dark event. It gives us supplies, very important, potentially intel if we capture. We might be able to do that. This mission, we have 8 days, 12 hours. That's going to be super easy, super low priority. It's just 3 rebels. So that's the lowest priority one. We also have another mission we're going to be running in just a, a very soon. Not really a minute, because this isn't, this isn't really set up to be run at 100%. Maybe. I think I actually did intend on running at 100%, but I might not. I don't know, we'll see. Try to get to 125, potentially. And then this mission up here, we have nine days, five hours. But this is our troop training mission with Freytag. And we do have... Who's queued up where? Who's down here in Russell's the Ruffians? This is, a, this is a really good squad, all tech sergeants. All right, so let's do this then. Let's have Freytag bring out a squad right now against this very easy mission for training. Then I think we'll probably run this up for another some amount of hours and then we'll queue this up with seven days remaining with the same squad that's down here russell's squad is very 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 high right now they're just like super awesome and then we'll send whatever's left after that down there so here we go a fray tag go figure this out and here's the squad the fancy fellas all right once again look at this ridiculous yellow squad everybody's yellow it's like some kind of bee squad i want to put them all together and make a squad like bees what kind of B words are there, though? Like, bouncing belly bees? Everybody can wear this with the exposed belly or some such, and they just jiggle it around? I don't know. No idea what the hell I'm talking about. Also, why does Hexagon here look like an old Christmas tree? Like, the kind after Christmas that's rotting that no one bought that you can buy for $2? That's what he looks like, doesn't he? That's what he reminded me of, anyway, when I saw him. Uh, here's the plan. There's lots of gear that needs to be set up here. So I'm going to give a number one priority to Randy because he's going to be pretty awesome, I think. Overwatch spec. Let's go elite. Well, no. Is there like an advanced hair trigger? Yeah, I want to give the elite one to one of the specialists that can really use it. Let's also give him a bit more aim. Expanded magazine sounds good. And then, of course, advanced autoloader. Always good for the rangers. Uh, next up, what kind of thing do I want to give him? Probably, if I have one... 
the defense increasing one with Overwatch. It looks like I don't have any of those, though. I suppose we can just give him more aim, because eventually he'll need the aim anyway. Sure, it looks good. He's in. He's only got three HP, though. That is horrific. And we're going to need a whole bunch more armor for him, for sure. I wanted to talk, be talking for like 10 minutes, I think, for this one, because there's a lot of stuff going on. I guess we'll make him a hazmat vest. Sure. Uh, for now, I guess we'll just give him a trace it around because I happen to have one. The run PMC looks fine. I'm not going to equip this shotgun with any weapon mods because I'm going to get rid of it in just a minute when we get to advanced shotguns. It looks like we have steady hands here on Black Swimmer and Shredder somehow. Okay, let's give him a laser rifle. Sure, he can make use out of that. I have one sitting around. I won't even give it. You know what? I guess I can give it a... I have so many aims. Advanced scope. Why not? A uh, Shug looks pretty good for now. And everyone else. You know what? I think it's good. I think we're fine. What do we want to give to Flexagon? As a 16 mobility technical with lots of defense. Probably something to keep him alive a little bit. Superior conditioning, though. That's a lot of keeping him alive. Uh, I'm going to do it. He's got it. There you go. Hexagon ultimate tank. 8 HP. You're good. Just to double down on the keeping you alive thing, let's build you a hazmat vest. And we'll toss it in like heaterish. Awesome. All right. This looks good. Everyone's sort of geared up. Geared up enough for this extremely light mission. It's going to take eight days. It's a troop training operation. Another six promotions will be farmed out of this. I'm looking forward to it. Off they go. Deployed. Right now then, we need to come down here and hang out in New Indonesia for, the Indonesian zone. for just a minute. See what happens when I get this mission up to normal. Currently it's guarded. Let's scan like that much. Oh, a mission just popped. I hate it when it does that. Where is it now? I have to go find it. Recover item from Advent Vault. This is just a regular mission. And it's eight days though, and we also get 88 supplies. It's not uh, anything special. It's not a UFO. It's not a liberation. But 88 supplies would be great. But also, I don't have the good squads. This strength is, this is a region or a strength four with tons of vigilance. It's going to go up even more. Hey, I'm recovered from wounds. I just don't think we can do that. I'm just going to scan here until this is done. It's only four hours. Great. It's done. I, I wanted to do like a couple hours at a time to really maximize time savings. But it wasn't going to work out for me. All right. So do I want to do this mission now in a strength four region at 100% infiltration? Or do I want to keep scanning? I don't think I do because I would rather have seven days, seven, seven or ten hours on that mission. This this mission we've been doing. I don't actually know how, how long have we been here infiltrating this. It inspires and it doesn't actually say how long you've been infiltrating anywhere. I just now realize. Uh, I think I want to do it now so that we can then queue up that awesome squad over here to do this next really hard mission. And this one out here might get ignored, or I might just grab all the liaisons and send them off in their own little squad. This one here is almost certainly getting ignored, though, for the 85 supplies. Yeah, I guess that's it, unfortunately. I'm thinking about scanning for three hours for the Skulljack. Nah, don't really need it. Not right now. I'm sure Freytag will enjoy it, but uh, yeah, for now, that's it. So when's we returning? Operation Buoyant Festival. A strength four destroy relay that is very light with this pretty good squad. This terrifies me. I have a good squad, but this terrifies me. I wiped at least 17 times on a mission identical to this while testing. It has since been nerfed, but hopefully I can pull it off. Uh, we'll see when's we returning for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Really close. Muton falls for the trap once again. I guess he's already dead because he got the loot. Elite Core Elite Laser Sight. Yep, all the animations completely breaking here. Shoots at 34%. Uh, Snake shoots at Christine. Miss. Yep, it just broke. It just straight up broke. Muton just gave up with his life. He just dropped the loot on the ground and he's like, screw this. I'm not even going to animate out of here.